pass it. See, when he passes his hand down, you gotta pass it away and hold it there till you feed. Oh. Cross, tap. See my feet? Pass it down. Where my hand at? Until it's fed. Cross. Where's my hand at? Already ready. Where's my blade at? Ready. Is it here? No. No. It has to be low. And I'll explain why in a second. moment I can turn on it. And that's a bicep, right? <laughs> you can't be ready. Right. There's nothing to do about it. So as soon as he hits it, I'm done. Yeah. I don't care how he stops it. He's done. Yeah. Done. Right? So that's why you can't have it here. It has to it has to be here. It has to be here because as soon as you do this strike, I'm already I'm already mm -hmm. in my zone. I'm back where I'm supposed to be. As soon as you tap it, I'm back where I'm supposed to be. He hits it, I'm back where I'm supposed to be. Even if he slips it, I'm back where I'm supposed to be. Right? Come back. I'm back where I need to be. Right? Sir, sir. So this part of the drill is so that you can understand there are entries behind it. Many, many, many entries behind from the stop one Many, many, many entries. Right? From there, cross, there's my entry. Stop, cross, deep, there's my entry. He just stopped it. Put, put, put the pressure. What am I still doing? Right? Right? So I just half a handcuff, take my entry. <laughs> so in any position that you're playing it, even if he stops it, look, there's my entry. Stop it. There's my entry. Why do I have it? There's my entry. Many variations to it. So we keep it simple. One, two, three. Threaten. Parry out. Hold it. He brings it back. Parry. Where did I keep my blade at? See where my blade is? Oh, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> just in case. <laughs> you collapse on it when you yeah. go this way. Yeah. All right? 